today let us discuss introduction to political thought and ancient indian political thought with special reference it is an introductory lecture to give the brief introduction of political thought in general and to know the quintessence of ancient indian political thought in particular before that let us understand the meaning of thought thought is the product of man's natural potentiality that is reasoning capacity because of this special quality man has made an enquiry into many things such as nature society state human nature philosophy literature art science and music etc philosophical enquiry into questions relating to the nature organization and end of the political thought is called as political thought cl weber observes political thought is the thought about the state its structure its nature its purpose its concern is nothing else than moral phenomena of human behavior in society it seeks not so much of an explanation of the existence of the state as justification of its continuance political thought involves thinking of political issues state is undoubtedly the most important subject of it and it discusses about origin evolution and end of the state in detail along with this concepts like government sovereignty political participation political alienation and other comes under this political thought help in humanizing society and state the very purpose of political thought is to enable the moral phenomena in human behavior and in society therefore political thought is considered as political philosophy many times political philosophy and political thought are used in similar sense with similar purpose as vp verma said political philosophy is used here in a comprehensive sense to include a rational critic of all types of theoretical generalizations propositions and speculations regarding the political universe which has been or held in different civilizations it is evident that political philosophy in its generic aspect does include empirical political theory but it is a more comprehensive concept thus political philosophy or political thought is a rational synthesis of political speculations maxims and postulates norms opinion information and generalization into coherent knowledge now let us see the history of political thought it is distinguished into four parts ancient political thought medieval political thought modern political thought recent political thought and we can add one more that is contemporary political thought also ancient political thought ancient political thought includes indian greek egyptian chinese and other most of the political science students take the example of greek thought to explain antiquity it is because of systematic analysis had been begun with them in it has arisen out of the speculation made by them they contributed coherent knowledge and systematic thought but it doesn't mean that no other countries in other parts of the world have contributed anything to this field in early days hindus chinese egyptians and other have made speculations about political authority here special reference of greek thought has taken to remark the main characteristics of ancient political thought such as state is a natural association it is a product of creative mind of human being it is a moral association nature is the source of law more attention is given to moral values the end of the state is proper relationship between political order and good life medieval political thought middle ages roughly indicate a period of 1000 year that is from 500 to 1500 ad this period which witnessed its germination in the disintegration of roman empire at the hands of german barbarians in its final termination is the reformation renaissance and conciliar movements however with a view to facilitating the study of medieval political thought the writers have classified entire period into two phases early and later middle ages roman influence prevailed throughout the middle ages and greek ideas crept into the roman world as gettel said the greek and roman political ideas were complementary each being strong where other was weak the most potent influence of medieval political thought was that of roman law it provided a general code of secular law governing properly property of a person and defining crimes with social and political roman law was not merely governing the clergy rather it was a universal system based on the conception of justice 
and interpreted in terms of Christian theory to observe certain sacraments. Universalism is the keynote of Middle East. Now let us see the modern political thought. Modern, modern political thought witnessed the rise and growth of nationalism. The national character of the state dissignified the citizens of every state were bound to each other by the tie of nationality, not by their mythical membership of Christian commonwealth. It also witnessed the rise of secular state. It signified the separation of politics from the religion and complete independence of the state from the control of the church. In short, modern political thought is the thought of secularism, nationalism, sovereignty and democracy. Now, recent political thought. Recent political thought shows that different trends like liberalism, socialism, idealism prevailed in the 19th century. Various issues revolved around the problems relating to the province of government, location of sovereignty, area of individual liberty, man's relationship with society and state. Now let us discuss about the major traditions of political thought. Major traditions are Indian political thought, Greek political thought, Chinese political thought, Islamic political thought and Christian political thought. As we know above said traditions are represent their own significance with some differences because of geographical differences and nature of human problems. At first, let us see the quintessence of significance of and quintessence of ancient Indian political thought. Ancient Indian political thought. Indian political thought is as old as Indian civilization. As everybody knows that it is very difficult to trace the antiquity of Indian civilization. Even today, research is going on in this regard. The sources of history of ancient Indian political thought are the great works of ancient India such as Veda, Agama, Upanishad, Smriti, Shruti, Purana, Epics and texts of religions. Indian political thought has its own distinctive marks. Here all important issues of political philosophy as a real basis of political obligation, relationship between ruler and ruled, ideal quality, legitimate functions of the government. It means Indian political philosophy is based on reason that is philosophy. Mackenzie Brown said, Indian political thought is one of the facet, vast and integrated system of reasoning which poses and interprets the very problem of human existence. In short, we can identify the main features of Indian political thought as follows. Politics is no longer than, no longer treated here as an independent and independence. Uh, uh, politics is no longer treated as an independent and autonomous discipline. Here, state is regarded as divine reason, creation, which showed upon the people of to terminate condition of complete anarchy or natsenaya. Dharma is the core concept of political philosophy. Here, Dharma signifies the whole way of righteousness. Dharma is more than law for what underlies and creates the law in the universe. Here, Dharma is not a creed or religion, but it is a mode of life and code of conduct which regulated a man's work and activities as a member of society and as an individual and was intended to bring about gradual development of man and to enable him to reach what was deemed to be the goal of human existence. Hindu concept on origin of state embodies synthesis of divine origin, dogma and social contact theory of western thought. It defies and idealizes the institution of monarchy. It never sanctions autocratic rule. The king is commanded to lead a life of purity and complete temperance. Ancient Indian political thought deals with the Varnashrama system. Varnashrama was formed on the basis of division of labor according to the special potentiality and skill of the persons. Kshatriya should be head of the state and he must be guided by Brahmins or Rajaguru. Hindu political thought identifies the politics with Rajaniti and finds its substitute in the Dandaniti, which literally means policy of rule and punishment. Hindu political thought gave importance to moral and spiritual aspect. Here, eternal aim of human life is to seek moksha. Thus, the purpose of Hindu state was to reinforce the moral codes of society and to ensure justice among the people, thereby guaranteeing the individual free opportunity to develop himself within the framework of dharma. It is very vast in its nature and it covers all walks of life.
conclusion political thought is the base of political science understanding of political thought is very essential to assess the present political phenomena proper understanding of history helps to assess the present and also think about the future the study of political thought or political philosophy constitutes a form of seeing the way in which it will visualize depends in a large measure on where the viewer stands the idea of political thought is to define determine proper relationship between individual and state signifying power authority in any form the major task, task of political philosophy or thought is to be bring men's beliefs to self consciousness and to subject them to scrutiny of reason ancient political thought has its distinctive marks in the history of political thought dharma is the core concept of indian political philosophy indian political philosophy identifies the politics with rajaniti or policy of the state and finds its substitute in the dandaniti political thought is a continuous process and it is very essential to keep the political science always alive thank you